let's get into some of the rumors around the Cowboys and we will stick with that wide receiver theme. First up is Alan Hearns. After the signing of, the, of Deontay Thompson, does Hearns' chance to go to the Cowboys diminish at all? Well, we're still going to keep this one at two heads, firmly in the rumor category. I still think there's a strong chance that the Cowboys can end up getting Hearns if that's the route that they, that they wanted to do. So two stars on this one here, folks. It's, again, firmly in that rumor category. I think he wants a little bit more money. And Hearns, by the way, is going to take his time. He's meeting, meeting with the Jets next. Teams like the Ravens and the Browns have also shown interest among other teams. He could be a good number two receiver. And I'll mention this now. My big concern is that the Cowboys will say, you know what, we really want Alan Hearns. Let's sign Hearns and cut Des Bryant, even though Hearns is not as good as Bryant. But I don't think the addition of Thompson totally eliminates the Cowboys from the race with Hearns. But I didn't think the Cowboys were the favorites to land Alan Hearns anyway, even though Dallas was his first free agency visit. Another wide receiver update here for you. The Cowboys had also brought in veterans like Dontrell Inman and Justin Hunter for visits. So now that those two aren't, you know, or now that the Cowboys have signed Deontay Thompson, are the Cowboys out on those two guys? And I think, yeah, I would be very surprised if the Cowboys signed Inman or Justin Hunter. I'm giving this one three stars because I just don't see why the Cowboys would bring in another veteran wide receiver. The only possible outcome, and I think there are actually two of them. One, they cut Des Bryant. Hope that does not happen because Inman and Hunter aren't even close. The other potential outcome is if those players have zero market out there and they take a no guaranteed money deal to come into Dallas and then potentially get something worked out. So I don't think you'll see Dallas have interest anymore in Inman and Hunter but keep an eye on it. I wouldn't be all that surprised if the Cowboys continue to look for wide receivers, be it Hearns or be it a draft pick. And back to Hearns again. Do you guys want Do you want the Cowboys to sign Alan Hearns? I'm going to throw with, I guess it's the like for me. I'll cheat here on my own reaction poll at the right price. If Hearns comes cheap-ish and the Cowboys don't cut Des Bryant, I'm okay with Hearns coming to the Cowboys. But... I don't want to overpay for him, and I don't want it to come at the cost of Des Bryant because I like Hearns, but Des Bryant is simply a better wide receiver at this point in his NFL career. Next up, did the Cowboys give up on former or former cornerback Orlando Skandrick? This one we're, we're going to give three stars as well because it's true, but it's also not totally untrue. So here's what, what, what I mean by that. So the Cowboys, yeah, they did give up on Skandrick. All right. They tried to trade him last year during the NFL draft. They were going to cut him this offseason no matter what. At the same time, Skandrick also requested his release. So he kind of asked for them to give up on him. So I think Skandrick here is trying to motivate himself a little bit. It is accurate. The Cowboys, in reality, did give up on Skandrick because he was not going to be back on this year's roster. But at the same time, I think Skandrick kind of loses the right to complain about that when he requests his release. At that point... Well, if you don't want to be here, well then, yeah, of course the team is going to give up on you. If you're wondering what the stars mean, we'll explain it for you here with our rumor meter graphic. Zero stars is the number of fights Odell Beckham won against the net. One star is a small shred of truth. Two stars means the people are talking, and it's firmly in that rumor category. Three stars means it's pretty likely. It's not quite a done deal, but it'd be a surprise if it did or didn't happen. And four stars means that Dez caught it. It's a fact, and he caught that ball against the Packers. Speaking of Dez, is Scott Linehan to blame for all the rumblings of the Cowboys cutting Dez Bryant? Two stars on this one, firmly in the rumor category. Mike Fisher has indicated that he thinks that Scott Linehan is the guy within the Cowboys organization that is anti-Dez Bryant because there's clearly somebody there. Jerry or Stephen Jones has made very open remarks about what he thinks about Dez Bryant, called him a distraction. Fisher thinks that was him kind of repeating what someone else in the building had said. It's somebody higher up. Maybe it's Steven. Maybe Jerry's playing some real backstabbing stuff there. Maybe it's Jason Garrett. But Linehan seems to make the most sense, according to Fisher. And it's fair to point out that Linehan was behind several of the coaching changes on offense. Linehan, somehow, has a lot of power within the organization, particularly on offense. And if he's the one pushing for Des to go, I would think that Scott Linehan very quickly would not become a fan favorite with the Cowboys. Oh, wait, Linehan is already not much of a fan favorite with the Dallas Cowboys because his offense isn't necessarily all that creative. So I'm very curious to see what ends up happening here with Dez. I still have this nagging doubt in the back of my mind that the Cowboys at some point are going to say, you know what, yeah, we're going to go ahead and release Des Bryant and then instantly get worse at wide receiver. I'm not at that point yet. I really think the Cowboys have to hold on to Des Bryant for one main reason. 
if the Cowboys dump Des Bryant, they get worse. The Cowboys are trying to win right now. If you cut Des Bryant and bring in, let's say, Alan Hearns, at that point, you are worse as an NFL team because you're, 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 you don't have the proper players at wide receiver. And we do have this reaction poll for you guys. What should the Cowboys do with Des? Heart for a keep. Like for cut, laughing face for a trade, wow face for a pay cut. If he takes a pay cut, awesome. That would be absolutely incredible. I would love to see that one go down. In reality, though, I think you keep Des Bryant, and then you reevaluate next off season. Four rumors down. Our fifth one up involves one Randy Gregory. Is he set to return to the Dallas Cowboys? We'll explain the latest on that one here. But first, word from our sponsor, The Guild. on this one folks we're upgrading it from two stars to three I think it's pretty likely that you see Randy Gregory at least apply for reinstatement in the near future this is the third or fourth time we've heard one of the Cowboys media members mention this Gregory, Gregory reportedly met or his people met with some NFL people at the NFL Combine to help kind of figure out the groundwork for his potential reinstatement hasn't filed the paperwork yet but I think we're getting closer and closer to the return of Randy Gregory. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be back with the Cowboys either, just that he's attempting to return to the NFL. I think in reality, Gregory's issues have rub rubbed some Cowboys people the wrong way. They did spend a second round pick on him, and we know that Jerry Jones loves a, a second chance story. But I want to know from you guys, do you want Gregory back on the Cowboys? I am fine with it. I think the main focus, though, and the absolute must-do for the Cowboys is you cannot assume that you will have Randy Gregory back for an extended period of time. You treat him as a luxury. If he comes back, awesome. You have another good edge rusher. If he doesn't come back, well, you've built your roster where you're not banking on him being a key factor of that defense. All right, four rumors to go here. Could Nathan Shepard head to the Dallas Cowboys? For those of you that follow the Senior Bowl, Shepard out of tiny Fort Hayes State was one of the biggest Senior Bowl winners. He looked absolutely great against other Senior Bowl prospects. We're giving this one two stars because Shepard will be meeting with the Dallas Cowboys. He is one of their pre-draft visits. Now, Shepard absolutely wowed at the Senior Bowl, as I mentioned. He is a little bit on the older side, and he is still raw, but the upside is there. And if you're the Cowboys, you need more defensive line help. I think Shepard can be one of those guys that can line up on the interior, be a defensive tackle. Keep an eye out for him in that round two, round three range. I think he ends up going on day two of the NFL draft. We'll stick with the draft thing here, uh, theme here on this Cowboys report. How about Cowboys and wide receiver Vincent Smith? And yes, that is how he spells his name. And he's probably a guy you haven't heard of because he went to tiny little limestone college, but two stars on this one. The Cowboys are showing some entrance. Vincent Smith had a very impressive uh, pro day, running a 4.3640 yard dash, not at the limestone college pro day. He was at the South Carolina pro day because, well, Limestone College isn't going to hold their own pro day, so he went to a bigger one there. The Cowboys will hold a private workout with him. Doesn't count as one of their pre-draft visitors, but they are at least checking out Smith. He could be another burner for the Cowboys who need more speed at wide receiver. More draft stuff coming up, and this one a little bit more local for you guys. How about Deshaun Elliott, the Texas safety? Could he be a fit for the Cowboys? Well, two stars on this one. The Cowboys will have a visit with Elliott. The good news is for Dallas. Because he went to Rockwell High School, and that's pretty near Dallas, Elliott should not count as one of the Cowboys' 30 pre-draft visits. Instead, he counts as a local visit slash Dallas State qualifier. Every NFL team gets basically an unlimited amount of prospects who are near their home stadium. So the Cowboys will bring in Elliott, shouldn't count as a pre-draft visit. And if the Cowboys wait in the draft for a safety, Elliott, I think, makes a lot of sense as a strong safety with impressive ball skills, just not quite the fastest guy doesn't have the most range either. Finally, how about Leighton Vander Esch, one of the big winners from the NFL Combine because he blew it up, put up unreal numbers across the board. Could he be a, an option for the Cowboys? Another one with two stars on this one. I do think it makes some sense here, and the Cowboys are going to bring in Vander Esch for a pre-draft visit. He fits the mold of what the Cowboys tend to like at linebacker, namely freak athletes. Now, he's going to go in round one. Heck, he might not even be on the board for the Cowboys at number 19. 
but Dallas is doing their due diligence here. If they don't add another linebacker, I fully expect Dallas to spend an early round pick on a linebacker. Maybe not round one, and that's where Van Der is going to go. But keep an eye on linebacker for the Cowboys during the NFL draft.